This is uh, Brian Eater from Gearlog. We're here at Greener Gadgets with Emily Pilton of uh, Project H Design. She's got a table full of, I, I would say, a diverse array of gadgets yes. to show us. Um, yeah, so basically Project H Design supports um, the design and distribution of all these products that are here. Um, we promote you know, product design as a tool for, for addressing social issues and, and improving lives across the globe. So um, some of these are really great examples of that kind of product design. Um, this is probably something that you've seen a million times. It's the XO Laptop, Buy One Laptop Per Child. Um, the cool thing about this, though, is, is not just that it's energy efficient, but that um, it's so energy efficient that it can be powered by things like a hand crank or a solar solar panel. So the hand crank here is um, actually designed and produced by this company called uh, Freeplay, um, and it's the same technology as you see in these flashlights, which is just a very simple hand crank, but it's engineered very very efficiently. So um, you know I've just been sitting here for five minutes, and, and this has been on for going on two hours. Right. So. Um, the free play uh, flashlights are really great, flashlights and lanterns. And then um, there's some other really great products that are, some are gadgety, some are not, mm -hmm. but... Um, You've seen just, these Solio, they're yeah, gadget chargers over here. Exactly, they're yeah. for small handheld electronics. Um, the Life Straw is a is not a, a gadget, it's not an electronic thing, but it's a very, a very amazing, amazing device for water filtration. And um, this uh, this one straw can can purify 700 liters of water, and it costs two dollars um, for each one. So that's really amazing. And then over here. This is what we're really excited about, the wildlife over yeah. on this table. Um, one of our speakers today is Natalie Jeremajenko, who's a, an artist, engineer, just like amazing, amazing woman, and she has, I, I'm not even going to do this project justice, but so there's these robotic dogs and geese, and she has um, wired them, or, or, you know, tweaked their, I don't know, embedded the their innards. technology, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know how this stuff works, but anyway, um, the dogs, for example, she has uh, about a dozen or maybe even 20 of these dogs, and they go out and um, they sniff pollution levels. So she'll let like six or seven of them loose you know, in the city, in a park, um, in various places. And they also, they're networked to each other, so they can <laughs> gather data on pollution levels, and then it all comes back to this one computer, and she can sift through the data. Um, and plus, they're just so cute. And then <laughs> the, uh, the geese are similar, and I, I'm not going to talk about the details, mostly because I don't really know, the details. know the details, but it's, it's a similar yeah. data collection device, and obviously these are sort of um, rigged in a way where they're totally waterproof, they can go out in, in lakes, and um, they also talk to each other, and um, so. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure.